Hello people, in this video let us look at some antivirals that are used in ophthalmology. So basically these are virostatic, they are not killing uh, them as such, they are just uh, controlling them, virostatic. So they are uh, mostly against these DNA viruses, okay. So uh, all these herpes and all you know is DNA, right. So against DNA viruses these work very well. So they will not allow them to make the DNA. So then they will not be able to replicate, isn't it? So for herpes simplex infection, you can think about uh, IDU, idoxuridine, okay, idoxuridine, IDU, then vidarabine, okay, then uh, TFT, th trifluoridine, trifluorothymidine, acyclovir, famicyclovir, then this GAN cyclovir, all these cyclovirs, virvir you have heard, anything that ends as vir will be antiviral usually. Right, against herpes zoster, this one was herpes simplex, then herpes zoster, you have same acyclovir, famcyclovir, vidarabine, remember this vidarabine is repeating, right, acyclovir, famcyclovir, vidarabine, then here gancyclovir, <coughs> zidovudine, you have also seen this in HIV treatment, then non-selectives will be interferons, immunoglobulins, right, this you can write almost for everything, interferons is not yet available commercially looks like, but anyways, you can write interferons, and um, immunoglobulin. Interferons we also saw somewhere, right? In ENT. Against against human papilloma virus, right, guys, that causes this papillomas in uh, larynx, right? We have read that. Immunoglobulins uh, antibodies definitely you can give for, uh, it is non specific, you can give. So, antivirals, uh, have you understood, guys? So, what are the names that you will write? You will write acyclovir, famcyclovir, gangs, gancyclovir. Vidarabine, Zidovudine, Interferons, Immunoglobulins, etc. Other than that, if you, if you want, you can remember this one. IDU, Idozuridine, then Trifluoridine. So, these um, Idozuridine, they don't like so much. They have found that all these things are much better than Idozuridine. But anyways, let's look at this. Basically, they work against the DNA, right? So, these have very similar uh, structure like thymidine. So, they will inhibit the viral metabolism by substituting thymidine in DNA synthesis. So, this prevents the replication of the virus. Thymidine, if it substitutes, what will happen? ATGC, right? And instead of thymidine, you should have uracil in RNA. Okay, okay, so now that makes sense. So, instead of thymidine, this will go and sit. So, it cannot make the DNA. Did you understand? A, T, G, C is what it needs. But instead of thymidine, this one will go and sit. This uh, drug, what is this? Idoxyzuridine will go and sit instead of thymidine, looks like. That time, this DNA cannot get synthesized properly. Okay. So, these are available as eye drops and you can use it a lot. But if you go further and you see, no, this one, Vidarabine, Vidarabine is more potent and less toxic than IDU. Then why will people use that, right? Then you have so many, this one was not there in the list. So we leave this, this is not commercially available. Trifluorothymidine, that is what you saw now. This is also better than IDU. Trifluoridine, they call it as. Acyclovir, this is safe and effective. Again, they like this. Valacyclovir effective as uh, acyclovir, famicyclovir effective, <clears throat> interferons not available, commercially not available. Next one you can guess, immunoglobulins very useful. Gancyclovir for immunocompromised individuals, they are using it to treat CMV retinitis, cytomegalovirus retinitis, Fosca, Foscarnet. Okay, CMV retinitis in AIDS patients, Zidovudine again for AIDS patients. So, if you go back to the antivirals here, you can see these were for CMV retinitis, Gancyclovir, Foscarnet and Zidovudine. Mostly this will affect AIDS patients, so that's why they have made a new group there. Zidovudine you won't forget, right? Non-selective interferons, interferons and immunoglobulins. So, hope you understood antivirals. Bye-bye. Guys, if you remember in our DNA vi uh, classification, we have already seen this, that herpes is uh, DNA virus, papilloma, HPV is also DNA virus, the cytomegalovirus is also a type of herpes only. And what else you saw? Molus, no, molluscum contagious from herpes, okay, um, which was the other one, that's it, right? Herpes simplex, herpes zoster, 
cytomegalo virus human papilloma all these are dna viruses that's why they are using the same type of drugs so most drugs that they are giving are anti herpes drugs which are going to be dna viruses but uh, what happens if an rna virus attacks the eye mainly probably rna virus they are not expecting that much of infection is it so